may say Hamily Arms over my shoulder, but I'm back on the Sportsman Gun Centre stand and I've managed to uh, grab the man himself from FX to talk me through the new DRS rifle. This is apparently very, this is a hot ticket from FX for this show, their new PCP air rifle. It's the one that looks like a big bull barrel and the shroud, what looks like a shroud, is actually the reservoir around the barrel. So let's speak to the main man himself. So this is Johan from FX with the new FX rifle. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, this is the new DRS. Uh, it's an air gun designed to be traditional air, uh, traditional rifle. Yep. So in order to achieve this, we put the air around the barrel. Right, so you've got a reservoir, a PCP air rifle, and the PCP reservoir is what looks like a shroud. Exactly. Right. So it gives you a very simple rifle that's designed to shoot and shoulder like your normal firearms, your normal center fire, normal rim fire. Yeah. Right. And you're able to get the trigger time with this, and you get a... The way we've done it around the barrel is made it very affordable as well. The synthetic starts at 750 quid. Oh, right. And it goes up to the walnut for 890, and it's walnut with a high grade stock with a black. Uh, Schnabel tip, yeah. Exactly. Ends at about 11.62. So this is like the top of the range one at 11.60. Yeah. yeah. But that's a, that's a lot more affordable than some rifles. Yeah, definitely. So that's awesome. And you've got like a hog back there on the stock. Yeah. Um, have I got the terminology right? Hogs back, uh, I think it's called Monte Carlo. Well, oh, Monte Carlo, okay. Yeah. Um, cool. You and get about 110 shots per fill from the rifle. It's at 177, sub 12 foot pound, and 160 in. Uh, 160 in 22? Two two. Yeah. Brilliant. And about 60 full power shots in a 22 FAC. Right, okay. Would that be about 30 foot pounds, would it? Uh, about 28 foot pounds 28. from the factory. Brilliant. We're so able to push it higher, but we, we set them use about 28 foot pounds. Right, so you've got a gauge on the left side there. Yeah. Um, is that a reservoir gauge or a reg gauge? Uh, only a reservoir gauge on this rifle. Right, uh, okay. On the FPC version, you're able to aftermarket install a reg pressure gauge on the plenum. Right, in okay. In order to see the pressure. This, this little mount, is that for this? For this? So, this magazine looking thing here is a plenum actually. Oh right, that's so a plenum. We're able to have an adjustable plenum which is perfect for the sub 12 foot market. Right, so okay. we're able to have the plenum for the correct market. So we don't right. have to put it. So a for plenum. an FAC, is there a larger plenum? Yeah, the FAC standard has the same size, but we have a bigger size for the ones people that want to have even more power. Right, okay. Um, so a couple more questions. So the Picatinny rail, is that 20 MOA? Uh, it's actually 30 MOA. And 30 the, MOA, okay. The Picatinny rail is an aftermarket accessory. It comes standard with a dovetail rail. Oh, right, but okay. you're able to install a Picatinny rail to get the scope a bit further forward. And you're able to install a one-piece mount on this rifle as well. Right. Uh, but it comes standard with a 30 MOA to be, to be able to have you close your optical zero off your scope. Right, so the 30, this comes as standard with dovetail, and yeah. the dovetail has 30 MOA. The dovetail is... Uh, Plane. Oh, double dovetails flat. So when yeah. you slide on the Picatinny yeah. adapter, that's got the 30 MOA yeah. in it. Oh, right, okay. Right. Actually, I've just realised how fat it is there. Yeah. It's taper, it visibly tapers down. Yeah. So I suppose 30 MOA, it's half a degree, you know, so yeah. visible taper. Okay, uh, safety catch. Where's the safety catch on the right side? Excellent. Nice and quiet. Yeah. Um, the cocking lever, biathlon, that's right side only, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, got you, fill, you fill the rifle for the hole in the stock. Oh, it's fill port there, okay. Yeah. Just below the magazine port. What size mag is it? It's a new size magazine. It will fit all the old Crown and Dynamic, making all those magazines. Right. But it comes standard with a smaller magazine. It's a 14 round in 22 and 16 round in 177. Okay, so you made it more compact. Yeah. Right, okay. And I'm liking the, the, the sort of tapered yeah. inlets there for the wrist. Yeah, Minelli made hand. a beautiful job on the stock. Yeah, that's a, that's a lovely stock. Um, and I felt it yesterday, this this is quite light, isn't it? Do yeah. You, do you know the weight of it? Uh, it's 2.4 kilos with the walnut stock and 2.32 kilos with the synthetic stock. So the synthetic's 300 grams lighter, okay. Yeah. And you need a moderator on the end, so it's half inch UNF, is it? Yeah. Right, because I, I sort of was wondering yesterday when I first saw this, if some of this sort of a cylinder was the shroud and some was the cylinder but well, there's no there's no there's no the, the, the barrel ends just like flush at the end so right so it, it's not silenced at all when it comes it comes with a uh, a valve that is 
quite large due to the fact that we have a small plant and we're able to use a large valve right. to get a big burst of air very quickly, which uses all the air before it leaves the uh, action, which makes it quite quiet. Yeah. But adding the silencer will just do the extra job. Yeah, because Nick at Wirral Guns on the way down here on Thursday, I dropped a rifle off I'd just reviewed. Yeah. And he had one of these on, on display and he said it's actually surprisingly quiet. Yeah. You know, which is brilliant. Yeah. Because PCPs are normally loud, so you've engineered a quiet PCP. Yeah. Quietish anyway. No, because we we use all the air before the pellet leaves the barrel, so it's all the energy is spent before the pellet leaves. So right. it's very quiet. So no there's excess. less blast at the yeah. muzzle. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. So it's nice and light. Are there any other stock options? Like um you yeah. know, sort of target stocks and things? So we have or? a synthetic stock. Yeah. But we also have Ah. Right. And you have this stock, so that's more of a more of a modular competition stock. Competition. So it's you've got the ACC Elite the chassis from MDT. Okay, right. So it's a very, very solid competition stock for the people that want to do dynamic shooting or yeah. just want to have something that looks. And really I can cool. see a, I can see a barricade stop here, for example. Yeah. Um, and is there a hinged version available? Sorry. Is there a hinged version where you, it folds? Uh, no. 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 So it's fixed stock. Okay, and you've got adjustable length length of pull there with yeah. spacers, adjustable height butt pad, excellent, nice vertical grip, and is this, oh, you've got, basically that's a thumb rest. Yeah, yeah. right side. Okay. Excellent. And how, how, do you know what it weighs? Uh, the gun with this is all weighs about 3.4 kilograms, so it's a one kilo heavier than the synthetic. Right, okay. So, okay. Thank you. Brilliant. So. That's a look, it's a cracking looking rifle. Thank you. Um, it's a very attractive rifle, that is, really is. I mean, it's it's basically, it's a traditional shape, so for me, I prefer a more compact rifle. But this is, it's got so much going for it when it's it's gorgeous, and you've got both dovetail and picatinny solutions. Yeah. You've got a, a plenum that makes it look like a, an old rimfire rifle. Yeah. And um, you've managed to get a quiet PCP, which is brilliant. Um, I'm loving the ingenuity of the, the barrel uh, within the shroud, oh, sorry, within the cylinder. Um, excellent. Yeah, so, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time.